Hello everybody and welcome to 10 minutes spent playing Project Zomboid. Now, Project Zomboid, if you haven't heard of it, is an early access game. It's uh, post-apocalyptic. You are stranded in the town all in your lonesome after the zombie apocalypse. And you need to scavenge stuff, find weapons, barricade yourself in and generally survive uh, against all the undead. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fire this up, start a game start the timer play 10 minutes and then I'm gonna see what I think of it at the end so let's give it a go let's go for West Point Helen Roberts let's go for a bloke Joseph Taylor who can possibly blind zombies with that head let's give him a go okay so Occupation. You can be unemployed, a fire officer, which gives you axe skills, a police officer, which gives you gun skills, a park ranger, which makes you an outdoorsman, not affected by harsh weather conditions, extra orienteering ability, a construction worker who is thick skinned, has less chance of scratches or bites breaking the skin, and handy, who bar makes barricades faster. And a security guard who is a night owl, requires little sleep, stays extra alert even when sleeping. Okay, let's go with construction worker. That sounds like a good one. Available traits. Brave? Not for me. Light drinker. Clumsy. Strong. Short-sighted. Hypochondriac. Hard of hearing. I should imagine that one's dangerous. Claustrophobic. Light eater. Needs to eat less. Weak. Um, cowardly, extra, pro especially prone to becoming panicked. Patient, L less likely, to, less like to get angry. Ooh, hardened drinker, doesn't get drunk easily. Resilient, less prone to disease. Slow rate of zombification. Feeble, less knockback from melee weapons. Eagle-eyed, prone to illness. Keen hearing, brooding, brooding. Stout. Extra knockback from melee weapons, increased carrying weight. Lucky. I've just realized my character doesn't have a shirt on. That's scary. Overweight. Agrophobic. Unlucky. Athletic. Well, there's quite a few here, isn't there? Hearty appetite. Graceful. Short tempered. Quick to anger. Okay, let's pick. Stout. And let's balance that out with short-tempered. Alright, let's give that a go. These are the end times. So are these. These are also the end times. When will it ever end? At the end. There was no hope of survival. Or of this text scrolling. Still no hope of survival. It's hopeless, I tell you. Hopeless. I get the feeling this might be fast forwarded. This is how you died. Okay. Starting my timer. We're going to do this for 10 minutes. Okay. It looks like he's not wearing a shirt, but according to this, he's got pants and shoes, no shirt. That's right. And it looks like he's in an office building somewhere. Now, I have started this up just enough to read through the first few bits of the pieces of the tutorial. I know very little about it. So I'm going to be making this up as I go along. All right. WASD keys to move around. And click on things to look in. Um, look into uh, drawers and things like that. There's uh, nothing of interest there. There's a zombie outside. Ah, not much in this room at all. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to venture outside. Let's see if we can avoid the zombie. Ooh, lots of zombies, lots of zombies. Run away, walk away, walk away quietly. You're not supposed to run. Okay, let's see what's in here. Uh, no, they've seen me. Run, time to run away, time to run away. Oh, good lord. I think I got every zombie in the village. Here I is. I don't think I'm going to last very long. Uh, 
Okay, I don't think I'm going to get away with hiding in the toilet, so let's try to get out, out of here. Um, uh, high exertion and barely run. That's the wrong time to hear that. Is there a way out of here? No, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Yeah, fight, 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 die! Ah! Oh! I think I came second there. You survived for one hour. And to be honest with you, I don't think I lasted that long. So, oh, it quits out completely. Okay, let's start that again. Just make sure we're co-recording. Okay, so let's start that again. Right, survival. Let's play that same world. Mary Adams, who's completely random. Let's be a fire officer. Let's be strong, a light drinker. And what do we want? Cowardly and brooding. Let's be cowardly and brooding. What a conversation. Can I click out of this? No. Right, so we've had two minutes of rather pathetic abject death. Oh, you can click to skip. Okay, I'm in a house this time. That's better. Okay. So what we got here? Advanced farming. Not really much use at the moment, but I should imagine that'll be useful later on. I don't think it's going to be within the scope of us playing here, though. A bit of food in the fridge. Okay, that looks like it leads outside. Let's have a look in here first. A golf club! Yes! A weapon! Equip primary. Okay, um, what else have we got? Another golf club? A sheet? Now, I understand that you can hang sheets over windows to stop the zombies uh, coming in. Okay, so what we can do here, we can grab it, we can equip it, we can make bandages, or we can make a rope. Interesting. Okay, let's grab hold of that. Alright, and... Close curtains. Oh, that's good. Okay, what have we got in here? And this is the bathroom, and... No, oh, we'll close the curtains. Close curtains, and... You can drink out the sink. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Right. So. Curtains are closed. Let's close all the curtains. Close curtains. I don't know why I'm doing this because I'm instantly going to leave, but let's do it anyway. Close curtains. There we go. Right. Let's get out of here and look in the next room, next building. Okay. Close the door behind us. Just because the uh, the zombies have taken over doesn't mean you shouldn't be neat. Right. Next house. These are little houses, aren't they? Okay. Doors locked. Let's try a window. Oh, eek, eek, eek. Eek. Get back, get back, get back. You horrible thing, you. Get back. Ah. Die. 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 God's sake, die. Come on. Die some more. You've died once. You should be used to it. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on! Yep, I think we finally got him. Right. High exertion. Slight panic. Health is okay. Oh, got some experience by the looks of it. Okay. Right. So let's hop in through that window and see what we can see. Climb through. Close window. No curtain? Okay. What we got in the oven? Nothing in the oven. Bleach, chips, and fo a fork is a weapon. Way hey. Right, let's grab one of those. Grab one of those. Got something to eat while traveling now. Okay. Uh, dead body there. 
dead body there. This is going to do terrible things for property prices, you know. Um, right, what have we got here? Little bedroom. Lots of people in here for such a little bedroom, isn't it? go a shirt a skirt and a vest I don't particularly like those colors they don't bring out the best of my eyes all right so what we got in here we have a shower not that much okay on to the next house hopefully this one is zombie free because my guy is not very good at hitting people door locked let's go through the window Come on, come on, you're supposed to be strong. There we go. Climb through. Alright, so it looks like you're just walking around. It looks like the start of the game is walking around and seeing what you can see. Which makes a lot of sense. Okay. Climb through. Right, so let's have a look. Inventory, what can we do with the inventory stuff? Uh, fork, equip, pants, make bandages, craft a rope, shoes we can take off. Well, that makes sense. I can see what we can find back here. If we can find a zombie back here, let's go the other way. Okay. Come on, come on, in we go. Climb through. Where's this? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> that one just glided across the floor. Yay! So I say this much, there keeps you on your toes. Right, lighter pillow sheet. Let's have that lighter. Let's grab it. And no, I don't think I want a pillow. Alright, let's see. Is there anything in the bookcase? Book, anti journal, unpleasantly hot. Just think, um, what does it say? Let's close that, just read that again. Consider resting somewhere less exposed, thirst increased. Okay, so don't want to be running around. Let's have a quick drink. See that calls us down a bit, does that? Yeah. Um no, that didn't call us down a bit. Okay, never mind. Let's have another quick drink. May as well while the water's there. Okay, alright, out we go. No, out we go. All right, let's skip this little house because we don't have much time. See if we can find somewhere larger. Preferably not full of zombies. Okay. This place looks a bit of a mess, doesn't it? Oh, zombie there. And zombie there. Uh, what we got here? Well, that's my 10 minutes. Do you know what? I think this game is utterly fascinating. I mean, it's... The graphics are simple. The interface is a bit clunky. It's... But it's stressful. It's It keeps you on your toes. It keeps you thinking. Um, you walk into rooms and all of a sudden there's a zombie there. It's, it's, it's the tenseness. It's the terror that you find in... The Resident Evil and the uh, the Evil Dead films, okay, it, without perhaps the melodrama, I I can see where they're going with this one. Joe, oh, it's yeah, we are back home. If you think, then there's going to be more and more zombies as you're going along. I mean, I can see the water running out, the electricity running out, and you're going to have to learn to farm. You're going to have to learn to hunt, you're going to have to learn to scavenge, you're going to have to pick up all these skills, and there's quite a few skills. Uh, carpentry, cooking, farming, and various combat and running around skills. It, 
it all looks interesting and it looks like I've picked up a little bit of blunt skill there. So XP 12 out of 100. So how many zombies did I kill? I killed three zombies there. So that's what about four XP a kill. So that's gonna that's gonna build up slowly. That looks fun. I like this. In fact, I think I'm gonna play this some more. And I'm tempted to say I'll make a let's play out of this. Thank you very much for listening. I've gone on a little bit over 10 minutes again. I do apologise. He lies. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a like. Please subscribe if you're interested. I wish we'll be doing some more of these because they are ridiculously large amounts of fun. Thank you very much for listening and good night.